Every morning, small things like a stubbed toe or big events like a tough breakup stir up intense feelings inside you. This isn't just a hypothetical scenario. It's the daily reality for many who grapple with heightened emotional sensitivity. You might wonder, what makes someone so emotionally reactive? Is it in their DNA or does it stem from their upbringing? Or maybe it's a mix of both. Emotions are a fundamental aspect of our existence. They shape our thoughts, influence our actions, and add color to the human experience, allowing us to feel everything from joy and love to sorrow and anger. The key to a harmonious life lies in understanding and managing these emotions. In today's episode, we're going to explore the roots of emotional sensitivity and see how the timeless wisdom of Stoicism offers practical solutions. By weaving Stoic practices into your daily routine, you can start to approach your emotions with more calmness and develop a balanced, peaceful perspective. I invite you to stay with me until the end of this episode. Believe me, every Stoic principle we discuss here is a powerful tool for mastering your emotions. It's not a simple task, but the pursuit of emotional balance and inner peace is a journey worth embarking on. As you embrace these principles, you'll find yourself gaining more control over your emotions, equipping you to face life's ups and downs with a steadier, more composed mindset. Remember, as the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, the greatest remedy for anger is delay. This nugget of wisdom is just one example of how Stoic teachings can transform our approach to emotions. By practicing patience and reflection, we can respond to situations with clarity and wisdom rather than being swept away by immediate reactions. So let's dive into these ancient yet ever-relevant teachings and discover how they can help us navigate the complex world of emotions with grace and resilience. Egocentricity In our journey to enhance emotional intelligence, we delve into a profound lesson from Stoicism. Overcoming Egocentricity This vice as the Stoics identified, is the dark shadow of our self-centered nature, a poison that infiltrates our lives, eroding emotional health and breeding perpetual dissatisfaction. The Stoics warned against the trap of seeking constant validation and recognition, which binds us in a relentless pursuit of external approval, leaving our self-esteem vulnerable to the whims of others. Egocentricity constructs a fortress of fragility around us, Every criticism or perceived slight becomes a devastating blow to our ego, trapping us in a vortex of negative emotions. This relentless quest for affirmation is a futile chase as true contentment eludes those who seek it externally. However, Stoicism offers a liberating path, a shift from self-centeredness to selflessness and gratitude. By moving beyond our insatiable craving for external validation, we find emotional equilibrium. The focus shifts from inward preoccupations to outward contributions, from what can I gain to what can I give. This change in perspective is not just a philosophical ideal but a practical approach to emotional intelligence. In practicing selflessness, we tap into a deep well of fulfillment and peace. It's in giving, without expecting anything in return, that we discover our authentic selves and connect with the broader human experience. This act of generosity enriches us, providing a sense of purpose and meaning far greater than any accolade could offer. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, aptly stated, Ego is the enemy of our true potential and emotional serenity. This powerful quote reminds us that shedding egocentric tendencies unlocks our greatest potential and leads to profound tranquility found in selflessness and gratitude. To embody this philosophy, consider the inspiring story of Martin Luther King Jr., a beacon of the American Civil Rights Movement. King's leadership was marked not by ego, but by a steadfast commitment to equality and justice. He prioritized the welfare of others, rallying people for civil rights through nonviolent means. His legacy teaches us the power of placing others' needs above our own, demonstrating that true leadership and emotional intelligence are rooted in humility and selflessness. In conclusion, embracing the stoic practice of overcoming egocentricity is a transformative step 
towards heightened emotional intelligence. By focusing on contribution rather than gain, we not only enhance our own emotional well-being but also positively impact those around us. Let us take inspiration from the Stoics and figures like Martin Luther King Jr. to cultivate a life of purpose, selflessness, and profound emotional fulfillment. This journey, while challenging, promises a richer, more meaningful existence where our emotional intelligence becomes a beacon of light in both our lives and the lives of others. Impatience. Impatience characterized by an insatiable desire for immediate satisfaction is a pervasive issue in today's society. It stems from our reluctance to undergo the essential process of growth and evolution. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy with timeless relevance, confronts us with a powerful counterpoint. Impatience not only diminishes our ability to cherish the present, but also disrupts our emotional equilibrium. In the whirlwind of our modern lives, where immediacy is king, we've lost sight of a crucial wisdom. True greatness and fulfillment are the fruits of time and perseverance. They are found not in the fleeting thrill of attainment, but in the richness of the journey itself. The Stoics, with their profound understanding of life's deeper truths, recognized patience as more than a mere virtue. It is, in fact, a fundamental component of a contented and serene existence. Our obsession with instant gratification obscures the splendor of the now. We become so engrossed in what's next, so consumed by future aspirations, that we neglect the invaluable present. Marcus Aurelius, a venerated Stoic philosopher, encapsulates this sentiment perfectly. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This powerful statement urges us to embrace the present moment. It's in the here and now that we find genuine joy and fulfillment. Let's consider this. Every moment is an opportunity to practice patience, to cultivate a deeper understanding and appreciation for the unfolding of life. By embracing Stoic principles, we learn to value the process over the outcome, to find peace in the gradual progression of our endeavors. This shift in perspective is transformative allowing us to experience life more fully with a heightened sense of emotional intelligence. As we navigate through our daily lives, let's remember another profound quote from Seneca, another Stoic luminary. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This wisdom invites us to live in the moment, to appreciate the journey and to understand that the path to emotional intelligence and fulfillment is a gradual one enriched by patience and presence. Remember, in the words of Epictetus, no great thing is created suddenly. The Stoics, with their timeless wisdom, teach us that true emotional liberation is found in the cultivation of patience. It's about accepting the natural rhythm of life, recognizing that things take time to unfold. By shedding the heavy chains of impatience, we open ourselves to a world of emotional freedom. This journey requires us to embrace growth and development, understanding that true greatness cannot be hurried. It's in the patient endurance of the present, in the acceptance of time's flow, that the true beauty of life reveals itself. Epictetus, a sage in the Stoic tradition, once wisely said, He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. This quote invites us to view our own impatience with a sense of humor, recognizing its absurdity. In doing so, we can shift our focus towards cultivating patience, contentment, and peace of mind. Consider the inspiring story of Amelia Earhart, a symbol of impatience used positively. Earhart, a trailblazing aviator, broke through the barriers of her time with a kind of constructive impatience. She became the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean, not just challenging but shattering societal norms. Her impatience with gender stereotypes and her unyielding determination to transcend limits set a new course for aviation and became a beacon of inspiration for countless women. Earhart's story is a testament to the power of channeling impatience into positive action, transforming it into a force for groundbreaking achievements. In conclusion, let us take a leaf out of the Stoic book and the life of Amelia Earhart. Let's turn our impatience into a positive force, a motivator for personal growth and societal change. By embracing patience, we not only enhance our emotional intelligence, but also contribute to a more harmonious and progressive world. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius said, 
Adopt the pace of nature, her secret is patience. Let's walk this path of patience together, finding joy and wisdom in every step of our journey. Comparisons and envy. Comparisons, a seemingly innocuous habit, can be a venomous trap, ensnaring us in a spiral of negativity. It's a common pitfall to measure ourselves against others, seeking validation externally, a path that Stoics warn against. This behavior erodes our self-esteem and hampers personal growth. Imagine setting a bar based on others' achievements. It's like chasing a mirage. We fixate on what we don't have, overlooking our own accomplishments and potential. This mindset breeds a toxic cocktail of inadequacy, jealousy, and resentment, blinding us to our own progress. Stoicism, however, offers a beacon of hope. It teaches us to shift our gaze inward, finding contentment within. Instead of lamenting what's missing, we learn to cherish what we have. This isn't about complacency, but about recognizing and valuing our unique journey. It's about empowering ourselves to grow, leveraging our strengths. Envy, a corrosive emotion, can taint our relationships and stunt our growth. Yet Stoicism suggests a radical transformation, turn envy into admiration. Instead of begrudging someone's success, why not see it as a source of inspiration? This shift in perspective can be a powerful catalyst for our own advancement. Embracing Stoicism liberates us from the chains of comparison and envy. It's a call to honor our unique path and nurture our self-worth. Our focus shifts from emulating others to enhancing ourselves, striving to be the best version of who we are. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, aptly said, Envy is the art of counting someone else's blessings instead of our own. This profound statement reminds us that our value isn't pegged to others' achievements, but anchored in our own efforts and progress. By sidestepping the snare of comparison and converting envy into admiration, we lay the groundwork for positivity, inner strength, and personal fulfillment. Consider the story of Leonardo da Vinci, a beacon of inspiration. Known as one of history's greatest artists, his life wasn't constrained by comparisons or envy. Da Vinci's insatiable curiosity spanned engineering, mathematics, anatomy, and astronomy. His refusal to be pigeonholed by societal norms and his resistance to the fear of comparison and envy are exemplary. He embodies the stoic ideal of pursuing one's passions, unshackled by external judgments. In conclusion, Stoicism doesn't just offer philosophical insights, it provides practical tools to enhance our emotional intelligence. By reorienting our perspective from comparison to self-appreciation and transforming envy into a force for positive change, we unlock a more fulfilling, emotionally intelligent way of living. Let's embrace this stoic wisdom, stepping into a life marked by self-growth, resilience, and a profound sense of personal achievement. Regret and dwelling on the past. Regret and dwelling on the past can be likened to carrying a heavy invisible backpack that weighs us down, making every step in the present more laborious. It's a natural tendency to ruminate over what could have been or to chastise ourselves for past mistakes. However, Stoicism, with its profound understanding of human nature, teaches us that this is akin to trying to sail a ship by looking at its wake. The past, as Stoicism rightly points out, is an immutable force, a chapter already written in the book of life, unchangeable and unyielding to our will. The Stoic philosophers like Seneca remind us, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This profound statement resonates deeply with the concept of not dwelling on the past. It's a reminder that the pain we inflict upon ourselves through regret is often greater than the actual events that transpired. Stoicism doesn't ask us to forget the past, but rather to view it through a lens of acceptance and learning. It's about acknowledging that the past has shaped us, but doesn't have to define our future. In embracing Stoic principles, we learn to wear the armor of self-compassion, forgiveness, and resilience. This armor protects us not from external foes, but from our inner critic, the voice that often holds us back with reminders of our past failings. Self-compassion is a powerful tool in this regard. It allows us to look at our past not with judgment but with understanding and kindness. 
we begin to see our past errors not as failures, but as stepping stones, essential parts of our journey that have contributed to our growth and wisdom. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us the importance of focusing on what is within our control. The past, being beyond our control, should not be a focal point of our mental and emotional energy. Instead, we should direct our efforts towards the present and future, realms where we can actually make a difference. This shift in focus is liberating. It frees us from the chains of past regrets and opens up a world of possibilities in the present moment. In applying these stoic practices to modern life, it's essential to remember that the challenges and pressures we face today are not so different from those encountered by the ancient Stoics. The context may have changed, but the human experience remains largely the same. Therefore, the wisdom of Stoicism is as relevant now as it was centuries ago. It offers practical guidance for navigating the complexities of modern life, helping us to increase our emotional intelligence and live more fulfilling lives. Forgiveness, a fundamental aspect of Stoicism, is a transformative force that frees us from the grip of resentment and bitterness. It's a radical act of liberation, not just from the wrongdoings of others, but also from our own harsh self-judgment. Forgiveness opens the door to healing and growth, enabling us to construct a more promising future. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus wisely stated, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This profound insight is crucial in our approach to the past. It teaches us that our true power doesn't lie in altering the unchangeable chapters of our history, but in crafting the narrative of our present and future. This perspective is not about denying or trivializing past events, but about recognizing our capacity to respond to them in a way that fosters growth and well-being. Consider the story of Alexander the Great, a figure of immense historical significance. As a Macedonian king and military strategist, Alexander's conquest left an indelible mark on history, yet his true strength lay not in his past victories, but in his forward-thinking approach. Rather than basking in the glory of his achievements, Alexander continuously sought new challenges, pushing the boundaries of his empire. His relentless pursuit of expansion and innovation exemplifies the stoic principle of focusing on future possibilities instead of being ensnared by past successes or failures. Alexander's story serves as a powerful metaphor for our own lives. It encourages us to look beyond our past accomplishments or regrets and to embrace the potential of what lies ahead. This mindset is particularly relevant in today's fast-paced world, where past achievements can quickly become obsolete and dwelling on them can hinder progress. In applying these Stoic principles to modern life, it's essential to recognize that forgiveness and forward thinking are not just philosophical concepts, but practical tools for emotional intelligence. Forgiveness allows us to release the emotional baggage that hinders our progress, while a forward thinking mindset keeps us focused on our goals and aspirations. Together, they empower us to navigate life's challenges with resilience and optimism. For men in the 30 to 65 age bracket, embracing these stoic practices can be especially transformative. This phase of life often involves significant transitions and reflections on past decisions. By adopting a stoic approach, we learn to forgive ourselves and others, to let go of past grievances and to focus on shaping a future that aligns with our values and aspirations. In conclusion, the Stoic teachings on forgiveness and forward thinking offer a roadmap for emotional growth and resilience. They teach us to liberate ourselves from the chains of resentment and self-judgment and to embrace the potential of the present and future. By integrating these principles into our lives, we can enhance our emotional intelligence, build stronger relationships, and lead more fulfilling lives. Fear of Failure in this segment, we delve into the profound concept of overcoming the fear of failure, a notion deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy. This fear, often a formidable barrier, can immobilize us, hindering our ability to pursue our aspirations with relentless vigor. It's a shadow that looms over our potential, dampening our growth. Yet, Stoicism offers a transformative perspective, to view failure not as a deterrent, but as an essential component of personal evolution and self-enhancement. 
The Stoics, with their profound wisdom, perceived failure as an invaluable teacher, a necessary step on the path to excellence. They encouraged us to shift our perception of failure, to welcome it as an ally rather than a foe. In the grip of fear, we become timid, steering clear of risks and opting for the safety of the known, thereby missing out on the rich lessons that come with failure. Embracing this stoic mindset liberates us from these self-imposed shackles, propelling us into a realm of infinite possibilities. It's in the crucible of failure that we forge our true capabilities, resilience, and courage. Marcus Aurelius, a luminary in stoic thought, eloquently captured this sentiment. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This profound insight reveals that obstacles, including failure, are not just hurdles to overcome but are instrumental in our journey of progress and self-discovery. Consider the inspiring tale of Thomas Edison, synonymous with the invention of the light bulb. His journey to this monumental discovery was paved with a myriad of failures. Edison's relentless experimentation, facing thousands of unsuccessful attempts, stands as a testament to his unwavering spirit. Despite facing skepticism and doubt, he never allowed the fear of failure to derail his mission. His story is a vivid illustration of how perseverance, fueled by a stoic attitude towards failure, can lead to groundbreaking achievements. In your own journey, let these teachings be your guiding light. When confronted with failure, remember that it's an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to emerge stronger. Each setback is a stepping stone towards your ultimate goal, a chance to refine your approach and sharpen your resolve. As Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, wisely stated, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. This perspective empowers you to face challenges head-on, transforming them into catalysts for your personal and professional growth. In essence, the Stoic approach to failure is not just about acceptance, but about harnessing its transformative power. It's about understanding that the path to greatness is often littered with obstacles, and that it's our response to these obstacles that defines our journey. By adopting this mindset, you can navigate the ebbs and flows of life with a serene mind and a resilient spirit, turning every challenge into a stepping stone towards your aspirations. Anger and Resentment As the wise Seneca once articulated, Anger is an acid that can do more harm to the vessel in which it is stored than to anything on which it is poured. This profound insight lays the foundation for understanding the stoic approach to managing emotions, particularly anger and resentment. These emotions, akin to a venomous poison, seep into our very being, eroding our inner peace and clouding our judgment. The stoics, those venerable sages of ancient philosophy, perceived anger not as a reaction to external events but as a manifestation of our internal, distorted expectations and overly critical judgments. Reflect upon the countless instances where anger has engulfed us, only to later realize the pointlessness of our rage. This realization is crucial in acknowledging that our emotions, if left unchecked, can enslave us, reducing us to mere puppets at the mercy of their capricious nature. Our journey towards emotional intelligence, as taught by Stoicism, begins with the recognition that anger obscures our vision, hinders our ability to perceive reality clearly, and warps our understanding of others' intentions. However, there is a beacon of hope in this seemingly endless maze of emotional turmoil. The key to emancipation from the clutches of anger and resentment lies in the noble virtues of forgiveness, understanding, and empathy. Incorporating these virtues into our lives allows us to break free from the chains of negative emotions. We must embrace the imperfection inherent in the human condition, both in ourselves and others. Lowering our expectations and accepting these imperfections enables us to meet others' actions with compassion and kindness, rather than with the destructive forces of anger. Now let us draw inspiration from the transformation of Emperor Ashoka, known as Ashoka the Great. Initially a fierce ruler of the Maurya Empire, his encounter with the horrors of the Kalinga War sparked a profound change in his heart. The sheer scale of destruction and human suffering he witnessed led him to renounce violence and embrace the teachings of Buddhism. 
which advocates for compassion and nonviolence. This dramatic shift in Ashoka's perspective transformed him into a benevolent leader, dedicated to the welfare and prosperity of his people. His journey from a ruthless conqueror to a compassionate ruler exemplifies the power of introspection and the profound impact of embracing empathy and understanding. In addition to Seneca's wisdom, let us recall the words of another Stoic philosopher, Marcus Aurelius, who said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote resonates deeply with our discussion, emphasizing the Stoic belief in the power of the mind over external circumstances. It encourages us to focus on what we can control, our reactions and perceptions, and to cultivate a mindset of resilience and emotional intelligence. In conclusion, the Stoic path to mastering emotions, particularly anger and resentment, is a journey of self-reflection, understanding, and empathy. By embracing these principles, we can navigate the complexities of our emotions with grace and wisdom, leading to a more fulfilling and harmonious life. This approach is not only relevant in the context of ancient philosophy, but is incredibly pertinent in our modern lives, offering timeless guidance for cultivating emotional intelligence and inner peace. Fear of the Unknown The fear of the unknown, a universal sentiment, is deeply ingrained in our psyche. This primal instinct, originally meant for survival, often becomes a barrier, hindering our full engagement with life's experiences. The Stoics, with their profound understanding of human nature, recognize this fear as a significant impediment to personal growth. When we surrender to fear, allowing our minds to be overrun by anxious thoughts, we inadvertently craft the very suffering we aim to evade. Our propensity to exaggerate potential outcomes amplifies these fears, transforming them into daunting, insurmountable obstacles. This is where Stoicism, with its emphasis on rationality and objective analysis, offers a transformative perspective. The Stoics champion the power of reason to dissect and challenge our fears. By confronting these fears and scrutinizing the irrational thoughts that feed them, we can pivot our mindset from a negative emotional state to one that is more positive and grounded in reason. This Stoic practice involves questioning the legitimacy of our fears and examining the evidence, or lack thereof, supporting them. More often than not, we find that these fears are mere illusions, figments of our imagination. Embracing life's uncertainties as opportunities for growth and self-discovery is a quintessential Stoic approach. Rather than letting fear immobilize us, we can adopt a Stoic mindset, viewing fear as a catalyst for action. Fear, then, becomes a tool, propelling us out of our comfort zones, urging us to confront and conquer the unknown. Reflect on this Stoic wisdom. He who fears death will never do anything worth of a man who is alive. This quote, embodying the Stoic ethos, encourages us to confront our fears head on. By doing so, we uncover an inner strength previously unknown to us. Consider the inspiring journey of Nelson Mandela. His 27-year imprisonment, a testament to facing the unknown, symbolizes the triumph over fear. Mandela, amidst the uncertainty of his struggle for equality in a divided South Africa, faced the unknown with courage. His journey, fraught with the fear of a future either in perpetual imprisonment or leading a nation, is a powerful example of stoicism in action. Mandela's ability to channel his fear into determination and resilience not only liberated him but also transformed him into a global icon of freedom and equality. In our modern lives, this stoic practice is immensely relevant. We often face uncertainties, be it in our careers, relationships, or personal aspirations. By applying stoic principles, we can reframe these fears, viewing them not as barriers, but as stepping stones to personal development. The Stoic approach teaches us to embrace uncertainty, to use fear as a motivator, and to discover our true potential in the process. This mindset, once cultivated, becomes a powerful tool, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with a calm, composed, and purposeful demeanor. Anxiety about the future Anxiety about the future is a common affliction, a kind of mental trap that ensnares many of us. It's like a self-made prison where we torment ourselves with endless what-ifs and fears about things that may never happen. The Stoics, 
with their profound understanding of human nature, recognized how destructive this habit can be. They saw it as a thief, stealthily stealing the joy and peace of the present moment. When you're so caught up in worrying about what might happen tomorrow, next week, or even next year, that you miss out on the beauty and opportunities right in front of you. This constant preoccupation with the future is like walking through a magnificent garden, but seeing none of its splendor because you're too focused on the possibility of a storm coming. You're there, but not really there. Your body is present, but your mind is lost in a maze of future uncertainties. This habit of worrying about the future does more than just rob us of present joys. It also clouds our judgment. It's like trying to navigate through life with a fogged-up windshield. You can't see clearly, so you miss out on the richness of experiences and the abundance of opportunities that life offers. It's a self-imposed barrier. A wall, you build, that blocks the path to true emotional intelligence and well-being. Now let's consider a story from ancient Stoicism that illustrates this point beautifully. Picture a wise old Stoic philosopher walking through a bustling marketplace. Around him, people are hurried and anxious, fretting about their businesses and future trades. The philosopher, however, remains calm and composed. He observes the chaos but doesn't let it disturb his peace. When asked about his serenity amidst the turmoil, he shares a powerful insight. Why should I worry about things that are beyond my control? It's like fretting over the weather. I can prepare for it, but worrying won't change it. This simple yet profound story highlights a key Stoic practice, focusing on what's within our control and letting go of what's not. By doing this, we can free ourselves from the unnecessary burden of future anxieties. It's about understanding that while we can plan and prepare, worrying excessively about the future is unproductive. To increase your emotional intelligence, embrace the present. Engage fully with the here and now. When you find yourself slipping into worries about the future, pause and ask yourself, is this within my control? If it's not, gently guide your focus back to the present. Remember, the future is a mysterious voyage. We can set our sails, but we can't control the wind. To liberate ourselves from the shackles of future-oriented anxiety, it is essential to practice mindfulness with dedication. This involves cultivating a laser-sharp focus on the present training our minds to resist the alluring yet destructive call of worry. By channeling our energy into the present moment, we regain mastery over our thoughts and emotions, steering the ship of our mind away from the turbulent waters of anxiety. Stoicism, a philosophy rich in wisdom, teaches us a vital lesson. The future is a mysterious realm beyond our control, and the present is the only domain where we wield any real influence. This philosophy encourages us to embrace the inherent uncertainty of life, recognizing that our fixation on the future is nothing but a source of self-inflicted torment. By adopting a stoic mindset, we make a deliberate choice to detach ourselves from the uncertainties of what lies ahead. Instead, we immerse ourselves in the tranquility of the present. This shift in focus allows us to loosen anxiety's tight grip, replacing it with a sense of calm and serenity. It's a journey towards reclaiming our emotional well-being, a path that leads us to the comforting realization that worry and fear have no power over us unless we allow them to. Imagine a scenario where a person is constantly worried about their job security. They spend sleepless nights agonizing over potential layoffs or financial instability. Now, if this person embraces stoicism, they begin to focus on their current work performance and personal growth, rather than the uncontrollable future. They find peace in their daily tasks, knowing that they are doing their best in the present moment. This shift not only improves their emotional well-being, but also enhances their job performance, as they are no longer paralyzed by fear of the unknown. In essence, by focusing on the present and accepting the unpredictability of the future, we not only enhance our emotional intelligence, but also open ourselves to a life of greater peace and contentment. This stoic practice is not about ignoring the future, but about engaging with the present in a way that is mindful, deliberate, and serene. It's about understanding that while we cannot control every aspect of our lives, we can control our reactions and attitudes. 
thereby transforming our experience of life. The story of Mahatma Gandhi is a powerful testament to the strength of human spirit in the face of overwhelming anxiety about the future. As the leader of India's independence movement, Gandhi faced immense uncertainty and concern about the fate of his nation under British colonial rule. The anxiety about whether India would ever be free from this oppression was a constant companion. However, Gandhi's response to this anxiety was not one of paralysis or despair. Instead, he transformed his concern into a catalyst for constructive action. Gandhi's philosophy of nonviolence, or ahimsa, became the cornerstone of his approach. He believed that maintaining calmness and peace in the midst of chaos and uncertainty was not only a personal coping mechanism but also a powerful tool for inspiring and leading others. His commitment to nonviolence was not just a passive stance but an active strategy for change. This is evident in his leadership of nonviolent civil disobedience campaigns, such as the famous Salt March, which were pivotal in challenging and eventually overturning British rule. Gandhi's approach to dealing with anxiety about the future offers a profound lesson in emotional intelligence and resilience. He demonstrated that it's possible to acknowledge our worries about what lies ahead while not allowing them to dominate our actions or thoughts. Instead of being consumed by anxiety, Gandhi channeled his energies into positive, purposeful actions that aligned with his values and vision for the future. This aspect of Gandhi's life is a remarkable illustration of how anxiety about the future can be transformed into a force for good. By actively working towards a better future, Gandhi not only played a crucial role in India's fight for independence, but also became a beacon of hope and inspiration for people worldwide who face similar anxieties about their future. His legacy teaches us that when we confront our anxieties with action rooted in our core values, we can not only overcome personal challenges but also affect meaningful change in the world around us. In conclusion, to enhance your emotional intelligence, learn from the Stoics. Understand the futility of excessive worry about the future. Focus on what you can control and embrace the present with open arms. This way, you'll not only increase your emotional intelligence but also find a deeper sense of peace and fulfillment in your daily life. Handling Criticism and Negative Feedback In the journey of life, especially for men in the prime of their careers and personal development, between the ages of 30 and 65, handling criticism and negative feedback is a pivotal skill. It's a challenge that can stir up feelings of defensiveness and resentment. Yet the Stoics, with their profound wisdom, saw criticism not as a setback, but as a golden opportunity for growth and self-improvement. They taught that criticism shouldn't be taken personally. Instead, it should be objectively assessed for its validity and used as a tool to better oneself. The essence of Stoicism is in detaching our ego from the criticism we receive. It's about not reacting emotionally on the spur of the moment, but calmly evaluating the feedback. This discernment between what is constructive and what is not is a crucial step. Such an approach doesn't just aid in self-improvement. It significantly boosts our emotional intelligence. It enhances our ability to navigate through difficult situations and handle challenging personalities with grace. Embracing criticism as a means of personal development fosters resilience and adaptability. It shifts our perspective, encouraging us to see negative feedback not as a personal attack but as an opportunity to refine our character and skills. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, aptly said, The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice. This mindset of responding to criticism with grace and a willingness to learn elevates us above pettiness, making us stronger and more composed. Consider the story of Abraham Lincoln, a beacon of resilience and emotional intelligence. During his presidency, Lincoln faced a barrage of criticism but never let it deter his spirit. He used it as a mirror to reflect on his decisions and policies. His ability to constructively handle criticism played a significant role in cementing his legacy as one of the greatest leaders in American history. Seneca once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependent upon the future. 
This quote reminds us to focus on the present moment, using criticism as a tool to improve our current selves without being overly concerned about future judgments. In our modern lives, where feedback is constant and often harsh, applying these stoic practices can be incredibly empowering. It's about taking a step back, analyzing the feedback, and asking ourselves, what can I learn from this? This approach not only helps in personal and professional growth, but also in maintaining mental and emotional balance. In conclusion, by adopting a stoic mindset towards criticism and feedback, we can transform potentially negative experiences into powerful lessons for personal growth. This not only enhances our emotional intelligence, but also aligns us with a more serene and resilient approach to life's challenges, a philosophy that is ever so relevant in today's fast-paced world. As we journey through the intricate landscape of our emotions, it's essential to remember that the path to emotional intelligence is not a destination, but a continuous process of growth and self-discovery. Today, we've explored powerful stoic practices that can significantly enhance our emotional resilience. From overcoming fear and anxiety, to handling criticism and jealousy, Stoicism offers timeless wisdom that is remarkably relevant in our modern world. Remember, my dear viewers, that each challenge we face is an opportunity to apply these Stoic principles and transform our lives. It's about embracing the present, learning from our past, and moving forward with courage and composure. Now I invite you to join me in this ongoing journey of self-improvement and emotional mastery. If you found value in today's video, please show your support by liking and sharing it. Subscribe to Stoic in your life and turn on notifications to ensure you don't miss out on our upcoming videos, where we'll continue to delve deeper into the profound teachings of Stoicism and their application in our daily lives. Your engagement and feedback are not just appreciated, they are the cornerstones of our growing community. Share your thoughts, experiences, and insights in the comments below. Let's foster a space of learning and inspiration, where we can all grow together. As we step into a new day, let's carry with us the stoic wisdom that has guided us thus far. Remember in the words of Marcus Aurelius, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep cultivating that serene mind and resilient spirit. Farewell, and may your stoic journey be ever enlightening.